Delegations from the respective Red Cross organizations of the two Koreas met once again today. Top of the agenda was arranging reunions of separated families. And we are hearing that the dates of the reunions have been finally determined. Let's go straight to our Unification Ministry correspondent, Woo jung hee who has been following the developments from Seoul's Office for Inter-Korean Dialogue. jung hee do you fill us in on the progress made thus far? Daniel, it's been a long day for the delegations of Seoul and Pyongyang. Today's Red Cross talks ended in just less than an hour ago. While the general session ended in only 45 minutes this morning, the, the two delegations had to go through a three rounds of two plus two meetings to iron out and fine tune the details of the joint press statement. So here we have the final agreement. The two Koreas are to hold the reunions of families separated by the Korean War for seven days starting from August 20th at North Korea's Mount Kim. Uh, there will be 100 participants each from South and North Korea. The two Koreas will keep communicating to confirm whose family members remain alive or not and exchange the final list of reunion participants on August 4th. An advanced team will be dispatched from South Korea to North Korea's Mount Kumgang from five days before the reunions for prep work. And the two Koreas will work to renovate the meeting rooms at Mount Kumgang, for which the South will send inspection teams starting next Wednesday. It's a concrete action plan adopted by the two Koreas two months after the inter-Korean summit talks in April. Uh, there, the leaders of Seoul and Pyongyang agreed to hold the family reunions at around National Liberation Day, August 15th. This will be the first family reunion in three years since October 2015. Uh, Seoul and Pyongyang are to hold additional Red Cross talks and working level meetings to continue discussions on humanitarian issues, including the family reunions. But Daniel, it seems the two Koreas weren't able to touch upon or at least narrow down gaps in views on other humanitarian issues, namely the release of South Korean detainees in the North or Seoul providing humanitarian assistance to Pyongyang through UN agencies. Uh, today's joint press statement stipulates plans about the family reunions only. Daniel.